The Bible says that we are a great people. We are above all nations on the earth. Right. So why do we act like niggas in our neighborhood? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Bible says that the Lord has chosen the seed of Jacob, chosen the 12 tribes of Israel, chosen the so-called black and Hispanic man to be a special people unto himself, above all people on the earth. That's why the controversy is happening in the news today. That's why when you start to hear things like the blacks are the real Jews, the blacks are the real Jews, the real, Hebrew, the real Hebrews, we are the Israelites. When you hear these things, there's an uproar in the media. Brothers are getting canceled. Brothers are losing millions of dollars. People getting put to death. Yo. There's a lot of stuff going on in the news right now concerning your people, my brother. It's because you are the greatest nation that have ever walked the face of the earth. The earth was made for you and your people. That's why they don't want you to know that information. We are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That knowledge is that you are the Israelites. We gotta wake up, we gotta do better, black man. We gotta do better. My brother coming out the store, we gotta do better. The Bible calls us the greatest nation on the earth. Right. The greatest nation on the earth, bro. Come and check out these signs right here. We got a sign I want you to see right here. My sister. Look, I want you to come and look at this sign. We came out here for you. We came out here for you, bruh. We came out here for you and for her. We come out here to show our people our sin. We come out here to show our people their sin. We come out here to show our people their sins. So that way we can get it right. Because guess what? The Lord said he's bringing destruction in this place. Do we really want to be a part of that destruction? Do we know what that nuclear fire looks like? Do we know what nuclear fire looks like? You know what it's like to burn yourself on an oven or a match? Guess what? Nuclear fire is way worse. Way worse. And it's going to flood this entire uh, 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 country. It's going to flood the entire country. Give me that in Isaiah 34. Hold that, give me Isaiah 34. You, the brother don't believe. He said ain't no nuclear fire about to hit this place. He think America gonna last forever. He want his land of oppression to last forever. He likes slavery. That brother likes slavery. Do y'all hear this? He wants America to last forever. America is not gonna last forever. This place is coming down for all the sins, the treachery, the slavery, the bondage, the, the, the horror in this place, the blood shed in this place. Teach! America will pay for their sins. Bombs will drop here in America. It's already brewing. But we are here to teach the black man what he gotta do to escape these bombs. Right. It's a spiritual battle for us. It's carnal for everybody else. Everybody else gonna get the bombs. But you don't have to, black man. The Most High said he's going to redeem his people. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 4. Read. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Shall be what? Dissolved. How will the, how will the heavens be dissolved? What happens when, when something is being dissolved? It's lit on fire. Read that again. And all the host of heaven. The heavens. The sky read. shall be dissolved. Uh -huh. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Rolled together as a scroll. Mushroom cloud rolling on top of each other. You've seen that before, right? That's what the Bible says. This is a book of prophecy. A lot of people treat this book as if it's some fairy tale being told. It's for us and us alone, my right. brother. Us alone, my brother. That's why we teaching right here. We got up here early. 
leaving our wives, our children. We said we can't deal with y'all right now. Today it's time for our brothers to hear this message. The message is this. You are an Israelite. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. We are the real Jews. We are the Hebrews, my sister, my brothers. All right? And the Bible calls us the greatest nation on this earth. Right. Exactly. So I'm glad you're familiar. We're going to get into some scriptures. Right? The Bible calls us the greatest nation on this planet. But why do we suffer the things that we suffer? Because of sin. Because of sin. All right? shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree oh, so that's the destruction that's to come my brother had made a bold statement saying that there wasn't no, there was not going to be a judgment for this place there is judgment coming for those people on this land as well as our people right. on this land you understand so you said what, what's your name bro travis i'm as i'm also as all right, so do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yes, I know I'm a part of the Judah tribe. Speak up, I can't really hear you. I know I'm a part of the Judah tribe. You're a part of the Judah tribe, of the 12 tribes of Israel. Good, good. My sister, I want you to come close. I want you to look at this sign and tell us who you are. All right? Don't be shy. Look, come look. We came out here for you and for your family that you got in the car right now. Look, I want you to look at this sign and tell us who you are. All right, read Deuteronomy 76 again. All right, this is for y'all. All right, my brother say he's familiar with this. I need you to be familiar because you got a daughter in the car. All right, this is for you. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says, for thou art an holy people. The people that you see on this sign right here. The people that you see on this sign right here that suffered in slavery. These are holy people, okay? Read. On to the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Have chosen you. To be a special people. Special people. Special people. Why is he saying this about everybody? This is the Bible. Why is he saying that about everybody? You all right? You all right? Give me that. Uh, what is it? This is what? Say it again. You don't know. We're going to tell you right now. Hold right there. I don't want you to leave. All right? Listen to this. The book of Amos, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. The Bible says, I am in the midst of Israel. The Lord your God is in the midst of Israel. All right, you're not a Negro. The Bible calls you the greatest people on the earth. And watch what he says. I'm going to read it for you one more time. Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, uh -huh. saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's why we are a special people. That's why we are above everybody else. That's why when you look on TV, you see our people excelling way better than everybody else. Would the NBA be what it is if it wasn't for the black man? No. Would the NFL be what it is if it wasn't for the black man? Any other industry. But sis, we're not just preaching. We're teaching. We're telling you you're an Israelite and we have to come back to the Lord's commandments. Right, right. Otherwise, you're going to die. You're going to die. You understand? Mark these words, sis. I want you to call it. We got contact on the back. All right? My brother, you here. All right? How long have you been knowing about this truth? I just learned about it in May. In May? Yeah, All right. My, my son. Your we son is over here? Yeah, we part of a group. You're part of a group already? Yes. Okay. Does that group teach you the commandments? Yes. They do? All right. Give me number 15. We gonna teach? All right. So this is something that you're missing right now. This is a part of your repentance process. Because you said you found out that you are from the tribe of Judah, so you know that you're an Israelite of the nation of Israel, right? So let's take some, let's, let's move it along. Times is being wasted right now. You gotta make it urgent, right? The Bible says that David, when he messed up with the Lord, he killed his brother, he lied. 
he uh he uh so basically he committed murder he lied about it and he committed adultery the bible says he hasted to get himself right with the lord this is what we need you to do numbers chapter 15 verse 38 speak unto the children of israel you're an israelite the lord is speaking to the children of israel read and bid them that they make them fringes force them bid them force them make them make the children of israel as a law in their land to govern their people read that they make them fringes uh -huh. in the borders of their garments throughout their generations you said you have a son we are still generating you have a son these brothers have children we are still having babies we're still going on it says throughout their generations the children of Israel should be wearing what on their clothing? Fringes. I'm looking at you now, and Travis, you don't have fringes. What's going on? You said you found out in May, right? Well, guess what you said you just got off work? That's another subject. We don't break the, we don't supposed to be breaking the Sabbath. But you said you just got off work. Why don't you have fringes on your work clothes? Huh? You in sin, all praise, and I'm glad you admitted that. All praise. So that's a spirit that the most high can work with. Right. Because guess what? If you going back and forth, you're making excuses for yourself, you might as well just go off and die, bro. But being that you have admitted that you are in sin, now you know the proper steps to get it right. Right. Alright? All praise. We can work with that. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So you know about the laws of fringes. Alright? You know about the laws of fringes. And do you know why we have to wear fringes? Yeah. What are the importance of fringes? Yes. It reminds us of what? To keep the commandments. Exactly. Good, good. That's, that's excellent, Travis. We have to keep the, uh, the remembrance of this on our clothes so that way we can remind us, oh, we got to keep the commandments. Right? Because guess what? If all of us was walking around our neighborhoods with these on, we'll remember that I should not commit adultery which you see often in our hood. Thou shalt not steal. Stop breaking the Sabbath, right? Don't work on the Sabbath. We would know these things if we were keeping at least this custom right here. Right. All right? Verse 39. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Right. Remember all the commandments of the Lord and what? And do them. And do them. So we can't just be talking about it. We can't just be a, a, a Israelite on a Monday or a Tuesday. We are Israelite every day of our life. Because that's who we are. Just like it was implanted in our minds to think that we was an African American every day of our life. Yeah, that, that's who I am. I'm just a nigga. I'm just an African American. I'm black. I'm whatever. No. You're an Israelite. That's right. who you are. Right? So we got to start acting like it. Walking like it. Teaching like it. And it's high time for us to wake up to that. Give me Ezra 7 and uh, 10. Ezra 7 and 10. So what's the next step for you? You got to get the Christianity out of you. All praises. All praises, man. Yes, sir. We're going to dig into that. All right. So it's All right. The book of Ezra, chapter 7, verse 10. And this is this is your responsibility. This is all of our responsibility. Read. For Ezra had prepared his heart uh -huh. to seek the law of the Lord. Prepared his heart, his mind to seek the law of the Lord. Right? So we just gave you a law. You're familiar that you have to stop breaking the law. Right? And to do it. And to do it. So now you gotta, now that you made it up in your mind, right? You know who you are. Now you know that you got to keep fringes. You got to stop breaking the Sabbath, right? You got to well. And to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Right, so in order for you to teach these things, you have to be what? Performing these things. You got to be a doer of these things, right? All right, so now you said that you had an issue with Christianity still in planet and you are? All right, give me um, Ephesians, Ephesians 4 and 23. Right, Ephesians 4 and 23. All right, so you got so what what, uh, what type of things that you still got lingering on about Christianity? Bless our food after we eat. Bless our food after. Bless in the scriptures. Well, also uh, before or after. 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 Uh, 
Uh, before, I'm telling you, before or after. It says before, oh, okay. All right. And also, um, okay, go ahead. Because I used to be a musician for a church for many years. Okay. You know, sitting under that doctrine and then how they go about doing things and celebrating Thanksgiving and stuff. It's not so you just celebrated Thanksgiving? No. Okay. I would yesterday. Okay, all right. I, I didn't celebrate that. I cook no food, nothing like that. So other things such as Christmas, you're going to celebrate Christmas this year? No, that's not. All right. So there's some other things that you're still dealing with with Christianity yeah. that you miss, such as you said, playing in a, in a band or... Yeah, I used to playing play in the church. church. Yeah. So why don't you use those instruments to, to glorify the Lord? Huh? So Carl, where do you live at? You live in Hampton. Bro, we got a school in Newport News. We got a school. You got a flyer, right? Contact us. We're right up the street from where you are. Come fellowship with us. But it's time right now for you to get yourself together, bro. You can't waste no more time. Do you see what's going on in the news? Any second now, they can drop the bombs. Any second, they can drop the bombs. Right? Our pe the waters are rising. People out of nowhere coming to us saying, hey, I, I just found out who we are. I heard what Kyrie said. I heard what Kanye West said. Right? So we can't be playing around, bro. So contact us get in touch with us asap you and your son you and your family whoever you can grab that's gonna keep these commandments otherwise this, this destruction is coming it's already coming we have no time to waste bro the book of ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 uh -huh. and be renewed in the spirit of your mind the bible says you have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind Give me Romans 12. You got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. How do you do that? You got to stay in the word. The scriptures say, uh, hold that and give me uh, Joshua. All right. The, the Bible says you got to stay in your word. Exactly. But how often though? Every single day. Because this world will eat you up alive. Especially since you by yourself. That's why I said come in fellowship with us. Right. It's no coincidence that you stumbled upon us here today. We come out here just for Travis, it seems like, right? Joshua chapter one, verse eight. Uh -huh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, right? It says, how do you renew your spirit? How do you renew your mind? But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You got to meditate in these scriptures day and night, day and night. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 